Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, here today in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii at PTC 2020. Joining me is Jamie Leverton, Senior Vice President and Chief Commercial Officer of East Structure Data Centers out of Montreal. Jamie, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's always nice to get a break from the Canadian winter and uh, visit us here in Hon Honolulu. Yeah. Um, definitely a nice time to come, for sure. Um, so it's January 2020, and uh, that means we just wrapped up 2019. Yeah. Lots happened for eStructure last year. Uh, can you tell us some of the highlights? Uh, highlights are tough. I, For me, I'm six months into the role at eStructure and the entire six months have been a highlight reel. I have had the most amount of fun. Uh, we've done so much in such a short period of time and we've built a, a great series of surprises for everybody in 2020 as well. Uh, we're super proud of how the team has grown in 2019. Uh, we've increased our headcount overall by almost 30%. We uh, announced an incredible acquisition in August of Shaw's data center in Calgary, which we're very proud of. And we brought a really great team of, of professionals with us in that acquisition, which has been incredible to welcome them, welcome them into the eStructure family as well. So uh, yeah, very busy six months. We're proud of kind of everything we accomplished. We officially launched our Montreal 2 data center in the middle of October, which we uh, couldn't be more proud of. It's our new headquarters. 187,000 square feet, 30 megawatts. We just are in love with the Montreal market and super proud of uh, what we built out there. It's been fun to watch, that's for <laughs> sure. And I, I know that uh, next year will be busy as well. I was going to ask, so last year we talked actually, I think at ITW, yeah. uh, you were just launching your Channel Partners program. Yeah. Can you tell us some developments since, uh, since it began? Yeah, we've had a really busy six months around the development of our channel partner program and our ecosystem in general. So uh, I'm a fierce advocate of a healthy ecosystem across all aspects of our go-to-market partnerships. Um, we've, we've made some really strategic announcements recently uh, in that regard. We announced a strategic partnership with Data Hive in Calgary, which is absolutely phenomenal. Data Hive is the preeminent carrier hub for Calgary, and we are now partnered with them so that our um, our customers that want access to that dense carrier ecosystem can take advantage of it through our new data center in Calgary, which allows for um, uh, high density on demand. We do 30 kilowatts of cabinet out of that data center. We've got uh, six megawatts available, 60,000 square feet. So that partnership where we can work with Data Hive to get that carrier dense environment but be able to deliver the capacity and the density that our customers want is just so incredible and we couldn't be more proud of that partnership. It's an absolute pleasure to work with Marjorie and her team. So that announcement was fantastic and of course one of many that we've done uh, over the past six months and and really the tip of the iceberg of what you'll see over the, over the, the coming year. And of course, this week at PTC, <laughs> you're speaking of news, uh, you're announcing a new partnership, well, a, a growth to the partnership, I should yeah. say, you know, um, that was already in place, but high speed connectivity between Montreal and, and the US. Yeah. So that's, that's big and it's important. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So here at PTC, we've announced uh, our, an expansion of our partnership with Beanfield. Beanfield's an incredible partner of ours, and they've launched their hyper low, la low latency route uh, coming out of our Montreal One facility and going into the key U.S. markets to, so that our customers have access to ultra low latency routes to the major cloud on-ramps in the U.S. So really think that that's a great differentiator for us in Montreal. We absolutely love working with the team at Beanfield. So the, um, the more we can do together to really service the mutual interests of our clients and the industry as a whole, um, we, we couldn't be more pleased. So yeah, that's a big announcement this week as well. So many great things happening. It just, you know, I feel like every time we talk, there's something new, something going on. What about 2020? What should we expect? Uh, I would expect more than what we gave you in 2019. So as much as we've uh, as we've done in 2019, we've also been using 
it as a year to get us ready for some incredible announcements in 2020. So, um, yeah, I would I would expect actually more than we've than we've recently given you, and and that should be a trend that we continue to see. We just we're just continuing to get ourselves ramped up, and uh, well, we're full of surprises. And busy, I think, <laughs> yes. Uh, so for, for those of our viewers who don't know, can you tell them where they can go to find more information? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I don't get asked that question very often. Um, we have co You can, of course, go to our website. You can find us on social, LinkedIn, Twitter. You can reach out to our partners at JSA. Um, I'm the only Leverton I know that's working in this industry, so you, you could just put my name into Google and you should find us. Right. Um, but yeah, any anything at all we can do, any questions we can answer, we're here. Thank you so much for joining us again, and thank you viewers for joining us on JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. <laughs>